Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization where we have, what's the word, paddled into uh, Thursday, December 10th, 2020 and I am Sam Mitchell, this is Collapse Chronicles. And I don't know if I'm having a, uh, a brain fart today or not, guys, because I tend to do that. Uh, I was actually starting to do this uh, hopium uh, dose of the day from BBC about how we were solving the extinction crisis, uh, basically once, what was it, one step forward and 31 steps back or something, you know, for every one species that is level of threat of extinction is lowered, there's 31 species that is raised or something like that. But anyway, I noticed uh, in that story from the BBC, they had a link to another article from the BBC that was published a couple of months ago. I know I've read this article, but I cannot remember if I made a video about it on uh, Collapse Chronicles. So at the risk of repeating myself, uh, I'm just going to go over this again because it's a little more realistic, uh, not offering much hopium. Take it away, BBC. <clears throat> Extinction crisis poses existential threat to civilization. Uh, I would say civilization crisis poses existential threat to every earthling on the planet. But anyway, uh, let's hear what they have to say or had to say from the BBC. I'm sure every every word of this uh, is more true today than it was when it was written a few months ago. Uh, <clears throat> Human impacts on the places on earth with the most richness of life have brought hundreds of wild animals to the brink of extinction. The likes of logging and poaching have pushed 500 mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians to the point where they are hanging by a thread, research shows. This is yet more evidence that the world is undergoing a sixth mass extinction. Scientists argue, I would put the word scientists agree. Species are disappearing at more than 100 times the natural rate, they say, and I have heard it. Uh, depending on how you define species and how inclusive you are, I have heard it exceeds more than a thousand times when you're talking about things like insects. And Unlike other mass extinctions caused by volcano eruptions or asteroid collisions, we only have ourselves to blame. Okay, guys, I really think that uh, I just did a chronicle of the collapse on this story, or, or maybe just now every other story uh, about the extinction crisis has the sentence, unlike other mass extinctions, we only have ourselves to blame. I know I remember reading this uh, in the past couple of weeks. Has my brain fog gotten that bad? Anyway, I'm going to plow ahead because I really want to interview this guy. If I start interviewing again, uh, Ben, make a note of this. Professor Geraldo Ceballos of the National University of Mexico in Mexico City said regional ecosystems, I would say global ecosystems, are facing collapse. This is what Geraldo has to say about the situation. Quote, we have entered the sixth mass extinction. 
based on our research and what we are seeing, the extinction crisis is so bad that whatever we do in the next 10 to 50 years is what will define the future of humanity, close quote, not to mention the future of every single earthling humanity shares the planet with. Professor Ceballos worked on the study with two other well-known conservation scientists, Stanford University's Professor Paul Ehrlich, who I have interviewed two or three times. You can find my interviews with Paul. He was the first interview ever on Collapse Chronicles. And Dr. Peter Raven of the Missouri Botanical Garden in St. Louis. Uh, Peter Raven, Ben, take a note. This is someone else we need to invite on the show. Using data from the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, better known as IUCN's Red List of Threatened Species, they identified at least 515 species that are now on the brink of extinction, defined as with fewer than 1,000 individuals left. So... Again, and this is talking mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. They're, they have found at least 515 with less than 1,000 individual animals left. The, the animals are found on every continent except Antarctica in places highly impacted by humans primarily in the tropics and subtropics. They include the golden lion tamarin, the Ethiopian wolf, the Javan rhinoceros, the Spanish imperial eagle, the yellow-eared parrot, the gharial crocodile, and the green poison frog. The scientists describe the extinction crisis as an existential threat to our civilization, along with climate change and pollution, to which the sixth mass extinction is tied. And they say they have a, quote, moral imperative to draw attention to the loss of biodiversity, which they say is still rather ignored by most people. The research, you can find the research published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. I think they have a pretty hefty paywall on that site, but anyway, that's where you can find the full study Commenting on the study, Professor Diana Fisher of the University of Queensland in Australia said the study deserves attention because so many people do not realize how much of the world's wildlife faces impending extinction. Quote, I agree with the authors that this extinct extinction crisis needs to be elevated to an emergency equal to climate change, close quote. Professor Charles Johnson of the University of Tasmania said the current rate of extinction of species is higher than at any time since 66 million years ago when the collision of a space rock with the Earth killed off the dinosaurs and many other species. Quote, Threats to species in today's world, things like habitat destruction and climate change, are growing rapidly, close quote, <clears throat> adding that the 515 species down to 1,000 or fewer individuals are likely to be gone very soon. And Professor Juan Ritchie of Deakin University in Australia said that the study, quote, is yet more dire confirmation that we, meaning humans, are destroying life 
at a horrific pace and scale. Close quote. So, uh, don't find much hopium in that story. Uh, if you enjoyed that story, uh, how about this would be a fun one. Let's, we'll go check out on another day why preppers are going mainstream. Yep. Uh, we haven't had a show on preppers in a while. But speaking of uh, preppers, I need to go prep for the new hip camp that is officially open here in Paradise tomorrow. I will probably do doing a short video on the new hip camp if you want to come join me and the little dog in Paradise. What do you think, little dog? You say you want to be joined in Paradise? You can come see us down here in Paradise and we can go canoeing while we still can. Bye, guys.